What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. And I got some new news for you about an interview that I seen. And I just want to touch on my thoughts about it. It was with Sean Showtime Porter. And, of course, he's trying to eagerly get back in the ring with Keith one time Thurman. And, you know, they uh, they fought to a split decision loss, you know. And, uh, you know, it was a close fight, but he still lost, you know. And he would like a rematch, you know. They, they did have words at a at a public function not too long ago okay so that fight looks like it could happen but it's all up to Keith one time Thurman Keith doesn't want to give him the shot because Keith hey he's claiming hey I'm injured I'm not you know I'm not well enough to fight you right now so wait your turn I've already beat you whatever so they asked Sean Porter okay what was the next best thing like what would you like to do how about Earl Spence he has a belt you know, and Earl and, and, and you know, and Sean's remarks was really discouraging. He was like, uh, he was like, man, my my folk, my focus wasn't um, Earl Spence three years ago. So that's not my focus now. You know, and my focus is the WBC belt. And I'm like, OK, what's the difference between the belts? If you got a belt, you got a bargaining chip. You know, you got some leeway, you got some leverage. So why wouldn't you go after Earl Spence for the title? You know what I mean? Why would you parade and wait around to, for Keith one time Thurman? And it seems like to me. In the welterweight division nowadays, you all, you only have the young guys, the new guys and the, the new kids on the block. They want to make a name. Everyone else doesn't want to fight anyone else. You know, they want to pick their own battles. So they're, you know, Sean Porter wants Keith one time Thurman or Danny Garcia. And I don't really understand that. Why would you fuck with Danny and Danny don't even have a belt? You know what I mean? Yes, Danny ducked him once upon a time to fight another fighter. That's a fact. However, it really doesn't matter on how it goes because now you're trying to wait out to fight Keith One Time Thurman. Keith One Time Thurman's not trying to fight anybody. So well, I don't know why you're hanging around to fight a guy that doesn't want to fight you now or probably at all anymore. So, um, but then you duck Spence. And Spence has the IBF. So I don't really get it. It's like these guys want to pick their own battles. They don't want to really fight the best or the next best thing. They want to they want to pick and choose who they can fight. Now, nah, I don't want to, you know, Sean don't want to fight uh, Earl Spence, but I'll fight Danny Garcia. You know, Keith Thurman don't want to fight Spence nor Sean Porter. He wants to fight. I don't know who the hell he wants to fight. You know, I mean, I don't I don't know what what his thing is, you know. But that's what we have. We don't have the best wanting to fight the best. Like we've seen Ortiz. We've seen Deontay Wilder. That was the best fighting the best. Joshua don't want to fight either on one of them. Joshua ducked Ortiz. You know, so it has to be some guys that, you know, their credibility should be, you know, um, really, really had, had you have to take a, a big hit for, for ducking a fighter these days. You know, not that shit Sean Porter's doing. Because Sean Porter's calling out everybody except Earl Spence. Like, if you were the man than them, you would want to fight Earl Spence and get his belt. Now you got something to work with. But they're not trying to do that. People are trying to, you know, just, I don't know. You know, you could say, oh, it's the money. It's this and that and the other, man. I think it's a little bit of both. But it's all surrounded by some bullshit, you know, because Sean Porter's a tough guy. I mean, I would give him a good run with any of those guys, you know, but. I don't see why no one wants to fight Spence. And in his rear, the only person who wants to fight Spence is Crawford. And I heard and I read in another video that, that Earl Spence did not say he didn't want to fight Crawford, but that wasn't his hot priority. It wasn't the top priority. It's Keith Thurman. So he's doing the same shit that Sean Porter's doing. See, OK, everyone can't be like Keith Thurman, OK, because it looks like Sean's trying to be like Keith Thurman. Earl Spence is trying to be like Sean. So these guys are really mimicking each other on who they think they should fight because Eric, because they asked Earl Spence, he's like, well, why don't you fight the next best thing? Well, I mean, that's what he's supposed to do. He a fighter. Yeah, I fight anybody. But it came off to me and I did a video about this already. But, it, you know, you have all these guys that don't want to fight each other. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's making me sick. And that's what's hurting the welterweight division. These fights should be made. You know, so when Terrence Crawford and, and that's why I've already predicted in my videos that Terrence Crawford is going to come up there and whoop every ass up there systematically. 
you know, because these guys are going to be reluctant to fight. And if they don't want to fight, they're going to fall. They're going to they're going to lose popularity. They're going to lose credibility and they're not going to really be credible anymore because by the time they do decide to step up in the ring with a formidable opponent, they're going to be past their prime. They're going to lose their mojo in some kind of way. Hey, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So these guys need to really step up their game if they believe in the skills that they have and fight the people they're supposed to fight to prove that they're the best in the world. That's what it's all about. That's the shit that uh, Jamal Charlo's trying to do. He ain't worried about really no fight purses or uh, the politics in the game. He's trying to get this shit done. He's trying to prove to him, you know, it's, he said it's about pride. So he's trying to prove to himself that I can beat these motherfuckers at 160. You know, just like Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford are all trying. Well, Terrence Crawford, because I know there's no quitting Terrence Crawford. You know, he reminds me of a younger pretty boy, not Adrian Broner. He's a copycat. Terrence Crawford is the legitimate uh, um, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather of this time. People that, you know, they kind of overlook him. They look at all these other fighters. You know, you're looking at Golovkin. You're looking at Andre Ward. You're looking at Lamanchico. But it's really him the whole time. And he's going to, when the smoke clears, he's going to be the one victorious and kicking every ass in the division. That's what I see. He's going to exploit the holes that Earl Spence has. He gets hit too much with guys that shouldn't even be hitting him. I mean, he's a tough guy. He knows how to go far, but he, you know, Terrence Crawford will beat him. He's going to beat one Keith one time, Thurman too, because I don't think Thurman, if, if Thurman even wants to get in the ring, you know, he'll beat Showtime Porter because Showtime Porter comes in and he'll, and, and he'll time Sean Showtime Porter and get him out of there too. So all these guys will have, Terrence Crawford has every number out there and he's going to whoop Jeff Horn just as quick as shit. He's going to do that first. So, the best fight would probably be uh, Danny Garcia, Earl Spence for Terrence Crawford. But Terrence Crawford will beat all these guys. That's why Dan Danny Garcia left the division. He did not want any more of Crawford. When Crawford went from 135 to 140, they were like, okay, pack up your shit. Let's get out of this division. And that's exactly what those Garcias did. That's why they're 147. But it ain't nowhere to run for too long because Terrence Crawford is coming. And I didn't want this to be about Terrence Crawford, this video. But this video is about... The, uh, the welterweights that don't want to fight the best guy, the uh, best available guys, you know, and Terrence Crawford is going to exploit that and, and, and knock them off from grace. But you guys tell me what you got. I know this was a kind of rant or whatever, but uh, I just had to get this across. It just touched my mind on this video. So you guys tell me what you think and uh, leave your comments below and please subscribe. And you guys counterpunched. Peace.